Hey guys, what is up? It is Aries Got Game here, bringing you guys another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 map breakdown. Um, in this game, uh, this video I'll be breaking down mission and telling you guys kind of how to play it. Now, um, as you can see on the screen, I got another over-the-top view. Um, mission's kind of small and scrunched together, so an SMG or an assault rifle, I'm personally going to be running a shotgun. Um, works well on this map. As you can see, the blue arrows representing the A spawn and the red arrows representing the B spawn. And generally, in this, in order to win domination on this map, you kind of have to control B flag and preferably A or C flag. I prefer A only because it's a little easier to keep. <coughs> but, um, excuse me. But, yeah, I, I personally prefer A and B flag and C flag is just kind of where they all camp and stuff like that. So, just saying, that's, that's my personal preference, not everybody else's, but whatever, whatever works for you. But anyway, this is the class I'll be running, a USAS-12 with range. Uh, the holographic site I put on it just because I kind of saw Woody's Gamertag use it, and he was doing pretty good with it, and I don't like the iron sights either. So that's what I'm using. MP9 for long range targets. I got side of hand, quick draw, and steady aim. I'm running the Predator, Precision Airstrike, and the Reaper, because killstreaks tend to work well on this map, and I usually never run killstreaks, but I'm running them today. Bouncing Betty to throw it on the objective and play defense when I'm not there. And concussions, just in case I run into a group of people and stuff. So, anyway, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, so, in this gameplay, you're kind of going to see what I mean uh, by controlling two flags and keeping them. Um, in this gameplay, I go, I believe, 40 and 22. I'm not 100% sure, or 40 and 27. I'm, I'm not sure what I go. I know I get, like, 40 kills, though. Um... Definitely, uh, the the USAS-12 works really well, only because a lot of the action on this map happens in the middle around B flag, um, like right in between this area right here where they're running up into this gate, and uh, you can also get people off here to the side who uh, tend to wander off. Like my I, my teammate killed that guy, but that's what I have the MP9 for. And uh, the MP9 is actually a really good secondary, only because you know with shotguns you don't really have a very you, you, your, your range is very limited, like you can't hit anybody across the map with a shotgun. This isn't Battlefield Bad Company 2, so, um, you know, you can't do that. And it, the MP9 with Suppressor de is definitely, in my opinion, the best secondary in the game. I mean, I know I, the FMG9s are overpowered and shit, but I, honestly, I've, I've used them recently and they kind of suck. But, <clears throat> as you can see here, they, they control um, C and A flag, and they're trying to get B. But my, my whole objective in this game is just to defend B flag, because as you can see, they are trying hard as fuck to get B flag. Now, we just secured A, and now they're running at us from C, and as you'll see, I'm cutting them off right here as they're trying to go to B. And then I jump down here and uh, get ready to call in my Predator missile. So, I call this in, and I call this in, but... Um, you know, I I try to defend B as much as possible, only because it is the hot flag, as I like to call it. It's the one flag everybody's trying to get and secure, and if you can keep it, your chances of winning the game are really big. Like, there, your chances of winning the game if you're securing B flag and you're holding it is better than normal, because B flag's really hard to keep, and usually the team that's pressing the most is the team that's going to keep B flag the most. And um, you're going to see right here in a couple minutes, I'm going to pick up my Reaper. But, you know, that's another thing. Killstreaks it work really well on this map, only because it's a really open map. It's not got buildings all over the fucking place. It's got, like, two buildings that I know of. It's got the one, uh, the one building where snipers like to just sit in. And you got the one along the back alleyway of the map where... You know, it's just, even that doesn't even provide that great of cover. So really, only really one building can help you out, like, a drastic amount. You know, it, it, this map is so open, which was another reason why I ran the Reaper. Wow, how'd that guy not die? But, um, you know, uh, AC-130s work well on this map, too. I've seen, I've seen some people get buku kills with an AC-130 on this map. And, I don't know, personally... I, I'm not a big kill streak guy. If you, if you're subscribed to my personal channel, you'll know that you know I'm not really big into kill streaks only because I feel they're kind of under 
underpowered in this game, I guess you could say. At least the assault kill streaks are. The support kill streaks, in my opinion, are kind of overpowered because um, they take quite a bit to get rid of, and um, some of them just some of them either can't be shot down or something like that, or it's just completely overpowered. There's support kill streak is definitely a little stronger for the newbier players, but you know, I I, I actually. I went to my dad's this weekend and got Lockdown done, Village done, and uh, a couple other ones. In fact, I'm just trying to knock out gameplays for this series so I don't have to play this game anymore. Simply because I'm just getting bored of it, and, you know, it just, it's kind of fading out. But, anyway, like, as you can see right here, I'm securing B. I'm, like, I'm trying to keep B as much as possible. And, once again, they're, they're coming for it, and, uh, I'm waiting. You know, I, that's one thing you can't do with a shotgun. You really can't run around much outside of the map, but however, you can kind of sit in the middle. Like if you're running a shotgun, the best place for you to stay at is at B flag. Um, a flag and C flag, you're kind of gonna get fucked by people running SMGs and assault rifles. Simply because all they gotta do is really stun you once, and the shotgun. Shotguns don't fire very fast, um, unless you're using the AA-12 and, uh, you know, like this one, the USAS, it doesn't have a very big clip, so, I know you're kind of at a disadvantage against people with SMGs and assault rifles, <clears throat> but, overall, you know, I feel this is definitely, the main reason I ran this is because I knew people would be running at B-Flag, and it was just a way for me to take out multiple people in a shorter amount of time. Like, right there, that was kind of bullshit. I actually got a hit marker on that guy, but... Um, after this gameplay, I actually... I got damage for the USAS-12 today, actually, when... Um, before I started recording this video, I got damage for it, so... I don't know, damage and range, I personally run range only because shotguns don't have very long range. I mean, the USAS does okay damage, you know, it, it's definitely... this. In my opinion, the first and or second best shotgun in the game. Um, I personally, if I had to take a bet with the best shotgun in the game, I would go with the KSG, only because it's a one-shot kill. Um, about, I'd say about 75% of the time. So, your chances with that shotgun are pretty good. But, you know, yeah. also, one thing you kind of got to worry about with the shotguns is the spawning, only because sometimes you get overrun with enemies. Which, I don't know, I personally, in a second preference, I would run the, uh, just a submachine gun that's really good. Like, the P90 works really well on this map. Um, the, uh, the MP7 works really well. Uh, I haven't really tried the MP5 since they buffed it. They buffed the Model 1887, but it still sucks, so, um... There, there, there's a lot of weapons you could try. As far as assault rifles go, a lot of people run the Type 95 on this map, along with the ACR. Um, I don't really see the Scar L run very much. Um, CM 901 I've seen run a little bit, not not a lot, but I, I've seen a, a quite a few people run around with it. So. But just because it's a close quarters map, I think I would rather have fire rate over power. So. I, I personally would recommend SMGs, it's just I'm comfortable with a shotgun, so I honestly, it's whatever works for you. I mean, the shotgun's just a suggested class, and I understand that not everybody has the USAS-12 as high a rank as I do, and they don't have range on it, but um, even without range, it's uh, it's still a halfway decent shotgun. It's it's not amazing, but it, it gets the job done, and, you know, I think that's what a lot of people tend to look for, like me, like, if you can spawn trap the enemy team, then you'll be fine. See, a lot of people on my last video when I did this were like, oh, well, you, what, captures, 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 all you want is captures, you know? The purpose of domination is to really secure two objectives and keep them. The reason you don't secure three is because... If you if you keep your enemy at one, you can spawn trap them. You know, they keep running at you and you keep getting kills. As for if you have all three, your enemies are going to spawn randomly all over the fucking place. And, you know, it's going to be a mess. You know, you're going to start losing objectives and you're, you're it's just, it's going to become a total pain in the ass. Which is why in my last video, 
I said I played defensively, which is why a lot of people didn't understand why I ran an assault rifle on on um, underground. But see, the thing is, I'm good enough to run an assault rifle on underground because I don't I don't run right into shit. I mean, if you run right into shit, yeah, an SMG is gonna work perfectly for you. But you know, I, honestly, for me, I'm a kill I'm a KD whore. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I run assault rifles and. All the weird buku fucked up shit that you see me run is because I'm just I'm a KD whore and this is what works best for me and the more I run it the more my KD keeps going up so I mean it, it, you it, I, I don't care you know uh, whatever you guys feel works best you know let me know this gun works really well too the UMP 45 works fucking honestly if you ask me the UMP 45 is magic that thing is this gun is just so great for especially for this map you know that that honestly that would be my second SMG that I run on this map. I, in order, it would be for SMGs the UMP45, the P90, and then the MP7. I mean, in my personal preference, just because that's what I'm best with. You know, uh, whatever works for you. And then once again, you see here I picked up another Predator missile, but I kind of get fucked out of this one. I don't know. I is this the one I think? Yeah, I tried to drop this one in between two of them, and it didn't kill either one of them. But, however, if I had Dead Man's Hand, though, I'd have definitely killed that guy, you know. But, um, anyway, guys, this commentary is kind of coming to an end. I, I hope this guy gives you guys kind of somewhat of an idea of what to do. Just, when playing Domination, always remember to keep two objectives. Like, right here, we, we lost scored it. We lost some objectives, and I think right here I get my ass kicked. But, you know, we, we got a lead, so I, I'm not really worried about it. At this point, the game's pretty much won. So, um... But, you know, it's just, it, it's really also, also it's a lot about teamwork, you know, you gotta communicate with your teammates. If you're not communicating with your teammates, a lot of the time you're gonna lose. Like, we almost lost this game because I didn't have a headset. But, you know, I, I, my team, my team had an idea of what we're supposed to do. This was actually one of the few groups of players I've played with in the past couple days where they actually somewhat knew what they were doing without having to be told. Like, I hate it when I'm playing Domination and... My team just starts getting their ass kicked because they're playing stupid. Like, I remember the other day before I went to work, I was playing. And we, we were on fall and my team was winning the whole game. And then we secured two objectives and nobody was defending them. And sure enough, we lost by 20 points in the end. Because everybody was like, oh, okay, well, we got two flags. Fuck defense. We don't need it. You know, defense is so key you know that's one thing nobody does anymore nobody plays defense on their objectives they play it like they're playing fucking team deathmatch and that's not how you play domination yeah i mean if you have them in a spawn trap that works but if you don't have two objectives first it's not gonna get you anywhere but anyway guys i'm a ray's got game a like helps me out subscribe if you want to see more i'm out of here peace guys